Hi, I'm Boatame. Recently, I reacted to the Fairy All Parents pilot, which was featured on Oh Yeah Cartoons a few years before the show actually debuted. There was a few other shows that actually debuted on that show before the actual premiere, and one of them was My Life as a Teenage Robot, which apparently was also called at this time My Neighbor Was a Teenage Robot. I've seen a few episodes of this show when I was younger, but it's been such a long time and I'm just getting over being sick, so I thought this would be the perfect thing to watch to today. Make sure to subscribe, let me know if there's any other shows you want me to react to, and let's get into it. This gives me such old Nickelodeon, old cartoon vibes already. Okay, well this kid sucks and is never making it to the MLB. If this kid had a dream of making it to the Boston Red Sox, he really just needs to get a new dream. I'm not sure if that's his older brother or maybe he just has like a really old friend, I don't know. That dude looks already done with his shit. Do they not talk in this show? I get wanting to save some money sometimes, but... I feel like voice actors really improve cartoons. Why is the teenage robot, I forgot her name, living in such an old, run-down house with a nice doormat at least, but why does she live here? And do you activate her via doorbell? I feel like some door-to-door -door Bible salesman would have activated this by now if this was the case. Oh my god, that stuff of like horror movie stuff. Is that like purposefully done? Is it? I mean, I guess it would be trying to make her look scary. But like this, I, I, I don't understand. Like I, I get it, they were trying to throw our expectations off for later. But dude. Look at this! Just look at this! You were being given your baseball back, you ungrateful prick! Also, if she is so willing just to answer the door, why do more people not know she exists? You okay? Talk! What is it? Robot. Robot? Mrs. Wakeman's weird, but she's not a robot. Wait a second. Why weren't they speaking earlier in the episode? It looks like there was an actual person who made the character. I guess they are covered in chalk or something. I don't know why they would be just white, but... Tuck was babbling about some robot. Robot? Ridiculous. Never heard of such a thing. That's what I said. Anyway, could we have our baseball back? Baseball? Ball to dash. Never heard of such a thing. Fair enough, honestly. But if she's so much of like wanting to hide this robot, she did like the worst job ever. Like we could hear her walking up to the door. Something funny's going on. I'm telling you, it's a robot conspiracy. Will you quit with this stuff about the robot? XG9. XG9, you are the worst at hiding on God's green off. And you are the worst at looking normal. By God, I would be so... <laughs> if this was not Nickelodeon, I'd be so inclined to think this was a horror movie. It seems that some young robot has forgotten the rules of this household. You were designed to be the mobile response unit of the worldwide emergency crisis control center. When the center detects trouble, you ought to respond quickly and quietly. Okay, but you're kind of like removing some of the things covering like the computers and stuff like that. First of all, you bought all that stuff, clearly. So if you want her to be more of an agent versus a teenager, you are doing an awful job. And I think there was a second thing, but I, d I don't remember it. Your existence is to remain secret to everyone, especially teenagers. Do a 
I make myself clear, XJ9? Jenny. What? Jenny! I changed my name to Jenny! Remember? <sighs> By God, they are getting teenagers right so much in just that one sentence. Just changing the name for God knows what reason. Saving the Earth is so boring. I want to have friends and hang out like normal teenagers do. Not that anyone would want to hang out with an ugly heap of metal like me. <laughs> Oh, honey. Yo, you're just gonna be like, oh, honey? She broke a mirror with lasers. She probably made a hole in the wall. This is why she's so rebellious. She's just a horrible parent. You could have made her friends or something, but you didn't. Could have made her some way where she could go outside, like, or do it the Grinch style, where he wore that cloak and, like, the max to, win to go outside. Like, you could have done something. No, be a good robot and watch your monitors. Yes, ma'am. That's my name. My name's Jenny. Hi, Jenny. My name's Brad. Wow, a real live robot. How did you... That seemed like you couldn't be able to do that. Cool room. And boys are not allowed in it. Okay, let's go outside. I can't leave. Come on. Well, this kid is going to have a trouble learning consent when he's older. Let go of my brother, robot! Don't stress it, Tuck. Uh, guys, I gotta get back now. But don't you want to hang out? That kid's dead. Or at least has a concussion. That kid is dead, or at the very least has a concussion. That kid is dead, or at the very least has a concussion. Actually, Jenny should also be at least broken. Or, or at least rusted. What a douchebag! Why would you even lose business like that? Your pigtails. They're freaking out. Oh no! That's my remote emergency warning system! It tells me when the world is in life-threatening danger! Alert! Alert! Giant asteroid approaching Earth. Okay, but even if she wasn't directly watching her monitors all the time, there's still limited things she could do. She had to wait at least to go into the atmosphere, you know? Maybe she can actually go into space? I don't know. Oh, if this giant asteroid destroys the Earth, I'll be grounded forever! Get back, boys! Uh, robot! He is dead or at least has a concussion or we'll get one in the next two minutes. What robot comes with a lasso? I can understand who's surviving this, but Tucker should be dead. Navin just has a concussion, just dead. Jenny is so cool! You should have seen her, Brad. How did you see her? Your eyes should be exploding from your head from the lack of oxygen being in space. Well, she's already saved the world today. An afternoon off can't cause much harm. Why would you turn those off? At the very least, just keep them on. She can do it from a distance. She just needs to keep her uh, ponytail things in check. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. I didn't really watch the show very much. But uh, maybe I might have to go look back on it. I don't know. If you have any more things for me to react to, let me know in the comments below. I have been bored of May. Make sure to have a good night.